And it's time, guys, to preview WrestleMania Backlash, but let's take WrestleMania out of it, and let's also take Backlash out of it, because sure as hell, Backlash used to have much better match cards than this. I can think of Mick Foley, Randy Orton. I can think of Fatal 4 Ways for the WWE Championship. I can think of Austin versus The Rock 99. I can think of the two-man power trip against fucking... Kane and Taker, and what we get now? We get Bobby Lashley versus almost Happy, Happy Corbin, Corbin. Madcap Matt. Uh, normally, WrestleMania Backlash is pretty good because you're getting like rematches from WrestleMania, or you're getting like matches that were relevant to WrestleMania. But the problem is here, right? This year's WrestleMania card was pretty shit, right? And the couple of good fucking matches that were on the card have nothing to do tonight. So yeah, this might be WrestleMania Backlash. You're getting the, the rematches for back, uh, WrestleMania. But are you getting Brock Lesnar? No. Are you getting Stone Cold Steve Austin? No. You, you mean you're getting none of that. And another thing, I mean, apart from one, all the match stipulations are the same. They're all just single matches. Yep, all singles matches. Oh, but Damian Priest is banned from ringside. Well, I wish I was banned from ringside because I couldn't give a fuck about any of this. Uh, what I found was amazing. Six, six matches tonight. One championship on the line. That might be a... I think that could be a record in WWE. Just one. Can you think of a pay-per-view that had only one title on the line? I mean, even back then... Even when they were just... Even when they were split-branded and there was only, like, four titles in each brand, I cannot think of a pay-per-view that had one title on the line. I can see them doing some with a 24-7 title. Ah, well, are you going to count that as a legit match? No, but they will. <laughs> oh, I fucking it'll ain't. Their, it'll be in the record. Um, right, we're going to go through the matches here in no particular order because we don't know the order. But we'll start off with the only women's match on the show. Charlotte Flair, the champion, taking on Ronda Rousey. A I quit match for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Have not enjoyed this uh, this rivalry at all. I think Ronda Rousey is getting worse. I mean, yeah, she's okay in the ring, but the, my problem is she hasn't really improved in the ring for, since we first seen her. She was very good when she started. And... Even though you could still argue she's good, I mean, I think she should have got better, considering she's spent more time in the business. She hasn't she really... She has had quite a bit away from the business. True. Three years. Yeah, I think she has looked pretty bad since coming back, you know, at the Royal Rumble. I noticed that at the Royal Rumble she looked sluggish. She did not look like she was moving good. I mean, the match with Charlotte at Mania was alright, but uh, is this one going to be better? I don't know. The promos are horrendous, so hopefully nobody picks up a microphone tonight, but I think in I Quit matches, microphones are normally involved, so... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, or at least, I mean, The Rock, Mankind one, I think The Rock had a microphone. But when The Rock picks up a mic, you get excited. If Ronda Rousey picks up a microphone at any part of tonight's show, I'm not going to get excited. Uh, but yeah, who, who are you going with and why? Very intriguing. No, I'll say very intriguing. Not very intriguing, but I mean, Ronda Rousey, I can't really imagine. <laughs> no, I think you just put words together to try and <laughs> make it sound good before you realise what you're yeah, saying. I, I, There's fuck all intriguing I, 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 I was mid sans and <laughs> No, but can you honestly see Ronda Rousey saying I quit? <laughs> that's firing at Fitz Hotel. Ah, intriguing. And then you're like, what am I actually talking about here? Forget the minds. It ain't something relevant. No, no, this is shit. I don't give a fuck, right? I hope, I hope both of them quit. I mean, I don't, see Ronda, I don't see Ronda Rousey quitting, but she is a bit of a quitter. I mean, every time she loses at some, she, she tends to quit. But I don't see Charlotte making her quit. <sighs> but someone also pointed out that who is her on SmackDown to feud with Ronda Rousey? If you look at the heels on SmackDown, who is her? Exactly. There's Not no a lot. One. But um, Shotzi nice. Blackheart would that be the? Would that be the? I mean, I guess you could argue if Ronda wins, they will they will drag this out for another match, and this will get a rematch at the next pay per view. But I mean, after that. I mean, yeah, then you're heading into SummerSlam, and I get, I mean, the brand split's not even fucking real. They can they can legit move whoever they want around, you know what I mean? It's not a massive thing, but, I mean, the, the SmackDown women's roster doesn't look great. No. At least I if mean, Charlotte retains, I feel like there's... Yeah. The thing is, right, see this match here, this is probably as big as it can get for the women's division. Yeah. An I quit match between Flair and Ronda Rousey. Yeah. And um, it's the worst food going on yeah. the card. My perfect Corbin Moss, because that is just, that's cancer on a match. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, is that getting? Anyway, I'm going to go surprisingly here. I know it's controversial. I didn't see Charlotte win the Mania. No. I'm going to go Charlotte again. Maybe a screwy finish. Well, maybe they'll play a tape recording of Rosie saying I quit or some shit like that. I'm, yeah, they're going to do a big Alex Riley, Miz, Cena. I'm going to go Charlotte too. All right, there you go. Charlotte, Charlotte for the first match up next. Cody Rhodes versus Seth freaking Rollins. I legit did not care for this at Mania. I mean, I, I guess you could argue that at least they've got a bit of a, 
a feud going into this match, but it hasn't really been feud, great. It, it I mean, it has like an AEW feud right now. I mean, it's Seth Rollins coming out and basically, you know, kind of, you know, praising Rhodes, but saying that he's better and that if he knew who his opponent was going to be, he'd have won. And then you've got Cody Rhodes doubling down that he can beat Seth Rollins. And that, I mean, I think from Cody. Cody Rhodes coming out I and mean, cutting that promo with his dad. I mean, I, I thought that was pretty good, but I mean, since then it's not, there's not a lot happening between these two. But it's, I, I don't see it. I don't want to see a third match. Put it that way. So hopefully it's not fifty fifty. I think Cody Rhodes will win. I mean, Cody Rhodes seems to be getting the biggest pop out of anybody at the moment. I think he's getting primed to potentially win the championship. Is he going to be the man to defeat Reigns? Who knows? I just can't imagine but Rhodes I think going won't. away, burying all these people, saying about WWE, coming back, and McMahon letting him be the guy to beat Reigns. Uh, well, in fairness, I don't really recall Cody Rhodes completely like shitting on WWE. I don't, but I don't recall him doing what Punk's done, or Ryback, or uh, fucking Eddie Kingston. Point is, guys, right? There are I, I, people I think, than Cody Rhodes who's come into it and not beat anybody. No, true, but I think Cody Rhodes, I think he's been pretty fair, to be fair. I think he's been, a wee, I think he's been respectable. I compared to the Plus, rest, what, what, I, what I find fucking mad is, he basically said the other day why he came back to WWE. And it, well, I, can't, well, I can't remember the term he says, but he, he, he didn't want to. I can't remember. He basically said he didn't want to be putting people over for the rest of his career. Which is AEW. He says, yeah. And I just think it's mad that. Uh, what's, the, what's the name for someone that puts. Like, what do you call that? What's I, the wrestling term? Someone. Aye, aye, what's over? it called? Aye, what's the name for that person? I don't know. I don't have a fucking skippy. Gatekeeper. Um, gatekeeper. That's, that's more boxing, but this guy's not got a fucking clue, right? Anyway, ba ba basic, no, 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 fuck up. Because no, I, I, I know I'm talking, but I just can't remember the word. Know, right? know the word. So basically, Cody Rhodes says in AEW he feared that his role was simply, you know, just to job it to people that were going to be future champions in main event and he says the reason he came he, he, he chose to leave and go back to WWE is because he doesn't want to be that guy he's not ready to be in that position he wants to be the main event he wants to be the champion and I just think that's fucking mad that you're getting people now that are leaving AEW I know there's only one scenario but I, I find it mad that he's leaving AEW because it's deemed that he's not good enough to be the top dog in AEW but he's good enough to be top dog in WWE like, that, that is fucking insane. That that blows my mind. I know, absolutely insane, because you've got... How is Cody Rhodes not worthy of being world champ than Adam Page? But you've also got a fact, he put that stupid stipulation in. I know, but he says he'd put that in. M maybe it was Tony Khan. You wouldn't mm. know. Maybe, maybe it You wouldn't know. Anyway, I'm going to go Cody Rhodes. Win. I'm a big rant there on Cody Rhodes. I wasn't really ranting on Cody Rhodes. I, j I just find it fucking... I just find it mad that... Uh, I mean, normally that's something that... Oh, like that's kind of like I think you could kind of feud, like, maybe Christian feud himself that way. It's like you know, like I kind of want to be the t like um in the main event. I want to be in title matches, and so he goes to M TNA. I mean, but for someone to feel like they can't be the top guy in AEW, so they have to go to WWE to be the top guy, that just it's bizarre. Yeah, I I cannot understand that. Yeah, Cody Rhodes. I think he's gonna win, and the fact it's Cody Rhodes, like he was like the, one of the better things AEW had. Yeah. And he felt that way against jobbers like uh, Sammy Guevara. I tell you what, sometimes, he, I'm not going to lie, sometimes he come out and he cuts we weird promos that I'm not really, I'm not thinking, here, yeah, that wasn't great, but what I will say is every time he speaks, it's like, you, you do kind of take notice of him. I've, I've never really seen Cody Rhodes come out and cut a promo and it's like, you, you forget about it like two seconds later. Every time he, he says, he cuts a promo, you're always kind of like talking about it, whether, yeah, that was really good, you're like, well, fuck, that was weird. Do you I not feel that way? Yeah. His, his promos do kind of stand. Anyway, I'm going Cody Rhodes. I'm going Cody Rhodes as well. Right, up next, Drew McIntyre and RK Bro versus The Bloodline. I mean, this We've is got two, set, two sets of tag team champions in this. We've got Roman Reigns with both world titles in this, and yet there's not a title on the line. I feel like the the the, the Usos get jobbed out every week. So I feel like The Bloodline's winning this. And Reigns is in their team, which helps. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a while since Roman Reigns lost. I'm going to go with Drew Matt, and the fact that there's no belts on the line, I'm going to go with the team of Drew Matt and Taran RK, bro. I get um, you, but I'm going Bloodline. What I would like to see is that I think if if Drew McIntyre's team wins, I think Drew should beat Reigns. I don't think Drew beating one, pinning one of the Usos doesn't do fuck all. Yeah, no, I get you. If you want to set up it, I mean, when's the pay-per-view in the UK? 
Clash at the Castle or something? Aye, when is it? September. It's a bit too early to pull the fucking trick. I, mean, I don't know, but I mean, if you're going to set this up for Drew versus Reigns, and I think Drew has to beat Reigns in this match. I don't really see the point of fucking Drew pinning Geo or pinning Jimmy, so it doesn't do much for him. But yeah, I'm going to go with Drew McIntyre and RK, bro. I've went with the bloodline. Right, fair enough. Right, 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 for me right, to give my answer. Right, right, are you going to say anything else or are you just going to sit there? I uh, explained why I gave the bloodline. You explained why you gave them and so move are on you to any, the Were you any thoughts on it? It's fucking shit. Couldn't care. Next. <sighs> Title should be on the line. They're not. What can I do? I'm not the booker. Yeah, so they, they added Roman Reigns to this match and Drew Matt to this match like a week before the pay-per-view and you're thinking, what was the point? I, I just don't understand it. Roman Reigns, the night after WrestleMania, came out and he purposely gave the Usos the challenge. He says, the, you know, our next goal, the Bloodline's next goal is to capture all the gold. So Roman Reigns wanted the Usos to capture the gold, but then uh, we see what, two weeks ago, Heyman went and demanded this six-man tag match. So that kind of goes against what Roman Reigns says. I, I, it just doesn't make any sense. Unless they stuck the belts on the line, but of course they haven't done that. No, they haven't done that anyway. I've no how I went 1-1. One, one. Uh, AJ Styles versus Edge. Damien Priest is banned from ringside, so Damien Priest won't be getting involved. Uh, Edge was supposed to be apparently adding to his stable over the past couple of weeks. He hasn't done it. And to me, that tells me they may have been hanging off because since Damien Priest is banned from ringside... Maybe somebody else will be at ringside who's not banned, and there could be a, a third member, maybe even fourth member, added to Judgment Day tonight when Edge takes on AJ. I get this kind of similar to the Cody Rhodes Rollins match. There was there was pretty much no build going into WrestleMania. Yeah, we knew that AJ and Edge was happening, but Edge like took him out with a chair, and there there was pretty much no feud. And since then, there's not been much of a feud either. AJ's been missing half shows. And not a lot's been happening. I mean, not. I mean, AJ got attacked like in the the locker room, like two nights, like two weeks purple, after Mania. Purple lighting. And then he was gone for like two weeks. And then he came back selling an arm injury. So it's just been. I don't see how you can have these rivalries when the people aren't, you know, getting involved with each other. And not on the show every week. Aye. Shit show. Get uh, Gangrel back. I'm going with Edge. Get Christian though. back. White shirts, blood. That's what we want. I'm going with Edge. I think if they're going to do something with Edge, it, I just don't see the point of fifty fifty booking. So even with 50-50 booking, I don't think, oh, well, AJ Styles is good and Edge is good because they both got a win over each other. To me, when you, when you do the 50, the, the win just cancels the other win out. Exactly, and that's what it's going to do here. And I think Styles is just not held in the same regard as the rated uh, superstar. So I'm going Edge too. Right, okay, 2-0 Edge then. Uh, so far, apart from one match, we agree. Happy Corbin versus Madcap Moss. Right, there's not an awful lot to say about this. It doesn't belong on a fucking paper view, but I'm going to go with Madcap Moss. I'm going Happy Corbin. Why? I don't know, I don't know but I'm just going to go Happy he Corbin. He doesn't know, guys. Neither do I. Uh... Only Drew McIntyre's ever kicked out of the uh, end of days, so I reckon he'll, he'll probably land it tonight. He'll and... be the second one. I can't be dumb if he's mad, cap. And the last match, we've got Bobby Lashley in another WrestleMania rematch taking on Omos. Uh, the only difference is MVP will be involved this time. He was nowhere to be seen at, uh, at WrestleMania. Bobby Lashley went to alone. Who are you going with tonight and why? Well, I feel like Omos' whole gimmick of uh, being undefeated in this big giant what well, ended at Mania, so why would that come back here? And I feel like Lashley is a main offender, so why the hell wouldn't he beat him? I mean, I, I think, I mean, Lashley, you know, dumb... Obviously, he was, I mean, let's be real, like, Lashley was fucking world champion and then got injured, right? Didn't lose his belt. He's had one, he had. He came back, he had one match against Almost and won, then he beat Cedric there on Raw, dismantled him. I mean, Lashley sh should still technically be feud as, like, the unbeaten champion. He never lost his belt. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think having Lashley loot, and I know you could say, oh, MVP could do a screwy finish, but, I mean, Almost has already lost to Lashley, right? And, and like I said, Bobby Lashley is technically the unbeaten champion. I mean, almost losing to Lashley again, I don't think I don't think that, you know, destroys almost. If anything, it moves him down the card a bit where he should be. Almost shouldn't be in main offence. No. So I don't think almost losing to Lashley hurts, but I just feel that like if Lashley loses to almost, it just kills the momentum that he had after beating him. Exactly. I mean realistically, you could have almost beat you could have Lashley beat almost tonight. And then Lashley could be right, right, that's me, I, I took care, no one could beat almost, blah, 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 I never lost my championship, Roman Reigns, I'm coming for you. 
Brother. Like, you know, so, but if Lashley loses to Almost, then where does he go? It's just a big setback. So I'm going to go Bobby Lashley. Bookmakers disagree. They have Bobby Lashley 41. So if you fancy a bit of Bobby Lashley, then Could get... be a DQ with MVP, though, you know, like we said. So wouldn't read too much into it, but I'm going to go Bobby Lashley. I'm going Bobby Lashley too, Fuck guys. And that is it. That is your uh, WWE WrestleMania Backlash preview and predictions. Let us know what you think down below. Catch you for the next one. But until then, peace.